All right, guys, it's been a while since we filmed a YouTube video, but we're back. And today we're going to be talking about something that I think is going to become more and more important in the content creation world when you are working with clients. By the title of this episode, I'm sure you can tell we are going to be talking about how we work with our podcast workflow and how we edit a podcast in Final Cut Pro. Today we're going to be talking about Final Cut Pro, but this is pretty much the same for any editing platform you use. I'm sure there's different ways to do it in those editing platforms, but I use Final Cut Pro and I think I found a pretty efficient and quick way to edit these podcasts. So that's what we're going to be showing you today. All right. So we've got a screen recording here of our Final Cut Pro library. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about how we set up these libraries, I'll link that above and below in the description and you can go watch that. It's pretty simple, but this will help you lay out the project the way I lay the project out. So go watch that before this video if you want to learn how to do that or if you have your own strategy, just feel free to keep watching this video. First thing you're gonna wanna do is import the footage into your library. So we use three cameras and then the Rode Podcaster Pro. So we have all of the camera angles and then we have the two audio files here. Okay, once the footage is imported, we're gonna click new project and we are actually going to create a new timeline here. So I'm gonna name it episode 17. Tony Mueller, make sure that we have in 1080 or whatever you shoot in. If you shot in 4K, go ahead and click that. Click OK, and now we have our timeline open. You're gonna go into the footage. The first step that I do is I like to take the two audio files in this case that I have, and I like to put those into the timeline and sync those together before I sync them to the actual camera angles. Because a lot of the times when I do this, the audio files and the video files don't match if there's a little discrepancy in the audio files. So throw those in there, put on your audio presets. I just have a couple compressors and some EQ and then a voice denoiser. Throw those on both audio clips as you can see here. And then I will take these clips and I will create a compound clip out of these. The reason for creating this compound clip is so that it is one file. So when I take this one audio track, I can sync it to all the cameras and it will sync up seamlessly. All right, so we'll go ahead and name this audio clip. Make sure we set it so it's going in the footage folder. Go ahead and delete the audio out of your timeline. And now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take all of your clips and deselect the two audio files that we just made the compound clipped out of because we're gonna use the audio clip for that, not those old audio files. Go ahead and right click, hit new multicam clip, name it whatever you want. We'll go episode 17 multicam make sure you have everything selected if you have the use audio for synchronization it'll automatically sync it together hit okay and now we are ready for it to sync this may take a little bit of time so we will speed up to when it's actually synced a lot of the times when i'm editing in final cut it'll say not enough disk space this doesn't matter at all just hit okay it's still going to let you edit your footage go ahead and drop your multicam clip down into the timeline and now you are ready to begin editing the next step in the process is taking this footage and putting it in two times speed. The reason we put this footage in 2x speed is because if you have an hour long podcast and you have to edit through an hour long podcast, it's going to take you at least an hour to edit that footage. If you put it in 2x speed, you can cut your editing time in half just by listening back to it at 2x. Now, if this isn't something that you can do, if you can't listen to it in 2x or you get thrown off, then go ahead and do it in normal speed, but it is going to take you a little bit longer. Once we have the footage in 2X, we will find the beginning of our episode. We'll chop off everything before that, and then we can get into editing. I like to open up the multicam viewer angle window, whatever that's called. I have a shortcut as Shift Command 7. You might have it a different way. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through this episode, and as you see you wanna cut to a different camera angle, just click that camera angle. So we cut to Tony, we cut to the wide camera. Whichever person you think it should be on, just go ahead and cut to that camera. And the next step pretty much is just going through this episode, making all of those different cuts. This is pretty simple, so go through and do that, and then we'll hop into the next step. I'm going to put some fake cuts in here so it looks like we went through, but I'm not gonna actually edit it because it would take 30 to 40 minutes, and we don't have time for that in this YouTube video. So now that you've made all of your cuts, we wanna put this back into normal speed. So you're gonna hit Command A, that'll select all the clips in your timeline, and then you're gonna hit this little wheel thing right under your image it almost looks like a speedometer when you're driving and you can see it on your dashboard click this and hit normal that will move all your clips back to normal speed and ready to actually export for the podcast but before we export the video we have a couple more steps to do so the next thing you're going to want to do is actually color your podcast color correct color grade whatever you do do whatever process you like to do for your coloring make the image look how you want it but one thing I will say about this is make sure you're coloring your image inside of the multicam clip because if you do it outside of it, you're going to have to color each clip individually and we don't want to do that. So just double click inside the multicam clip. It'll bring you to all the footage. Make sure you select your clip 
and then go ahead and color. If you're trying to select a clip and it's not popping up, there are these little TVs on the left side that will make your image pop up in the viewer. So go ahead and click that TV on whichever clip you're looking to color. One tip I'll mention is that if you have a camera that cuts up your clips into different clips, say it's a 30 minute long clip, but it gives you three 10 minute clips when you import it into your computer, make sure you copy and paste all of your settings onto the other camera angles as well. The last step we'll go through is adding an intro and outro. You're gonna have to create this on your own. My intro and outro is pretty simple. It's just a slide at the beginning that says what the show is. It shows the episode number and the guest. And then the outro is just a end screen with Bennett Creative Media since we do produce it. And then it puts a card at the end where you can put some suggested videos for YouTube. So go ahead and create your intro and outro however you'd like. And then what I do is I put it in a folder called a go bag, which pretty much is all the assets I need to continuously produce these week over week over week. I'll go into the go bag here. I will click on the My Not Business podcast, click the go bag, and then it'll pop up. We'll go into the project files, click lower thirds. That's where all my assets are. Copy this intro, go ahead and paste it into the beginning of the episode. Then we will go back to lower thirds, select the outro, go back to our podcast episode, paste that at the end. Sometimes I have to adjust the audio because it gets a little wonky. Go back into the lower thirds, select our lower thirds for the host and the guest. Copy and paste those into our show. Go ahead and change the name to whoever your guest is. The host should be the same if it's you every time, but go ahead and make those changes on the text and you should be good for the lower third. The last step that I have is to import the intro plate that I have for each guest. So I'll throw that in the assets folder. Then I'll drop it down into where it says missing file, hit replace with retime to fit, and that will automatically fill in that little gap. So now we have the correct episode number and the correct guest name. Now that we've done everything to actually edit the podcast, go ahead and export your video. I'll name it episode 17, Tony Mueller underscore V1, V1 standing for version one. So if I have to export it later, I can do version two, version three, version four. Go ahead and put that whatever folder you'd like to, and you are done editing the podcast. Once you're done with that, go ahead and upload it to whatever podcast hosting site you use. I use Anchor. I upload it to Anchor. Anchor shoots it out to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, whatever you use to listen. And then I'll also upload it on YouTube so people can watch it if they would like. But that's pretty much the quickest and most efficient way I've found to edit these podcasts. Hopefully this helps you if you're looking to start a podcast or you have a podcast now, you're looking to optimize to be a little bit more efficient when you're putting together these clips. I do pull some social clips from these. So there is another editing process that I go through in making vertical clips for Instagram Reels and TikTok. But We'll talk about that in a different video. Other than that, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch one of these two videos here on the side. It is video production related and you might like those too. So give those a watch. Thank you guys for tuning in again and we'll see you guys in the next video.